It's time now for Ask the Expert. If you're looking for a way to celebrate Earth Day, maybe you should try nibbling on a cricket, maybe a grasshopper. They are good for you and good for the planet. Sure. Registered dietitian Lori Meyer joining us live this afternoon to talk about bugs. Normally we look forward to our Wednesday <laughs> afternoon snack break. Well, I have, I have wonderful <laughs> snacks for you today. You know, Why actually, should we eat insects? No, insects, they're, they're an environmentally friendly food source. You know, it's a very efficient way to grow food. It's twice as efficient as growing chicken, 12 mm -hmm. times more efficient as growing cattle. And so, you know, you, if you need to feed a lot of people, this might be the food of the future. And in fact, right now, 2 billion people around the world eat insects on a regular basis, and they're expecting this to at least double within the next, you know, 5 to 10 years, as more and more people are, are eating insects. Um, they also, they're easy to grow. They don't require a lot of food. They can, they can feed on waste. They don't require a lot of land. And it can be a new revenue source. So there could be a lot of reasons for eating insects. I'm looking at the nutritional label on this little packet of cricket flour. Which doesn't smell very well, by the way. It doesn't well. smell really good. They're all protein. I mean, yeah. it's seven grams of protein. And that's the, big, that's the big deal with insects. And the reason why we're even talking about them is that nutritionally, they're very similar to a lot of the protein sources that we eat today. They're a great source of protein. They have fats, especially monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats. Mm -hmm. Really good sources of, of minerals, iron and zinc and copper and phosphorus. There go the bugs. Um, they're selenium. moving on us. There's, there's there's also B vitamins, so I mean, they, they really do pack a lot of protein. I mean, mostly we're thinking about salmon or, or chicken sure. or beef, and you get about 25 to 30 grams of protein for a three and a half ounce serving. In the, the bugs, now the crickets, that amount. This is equal to that? that? No, this is about seven grams of protein okay. in that third of a cup of the cricket flour. But the highest, grasshopper is much higher in protein than the crickets, and the highest of all, do you want to guess? Caterpillars. So if you ever get an opportunity, um, and they're supposed to be quite delicious. Oh. Now, okay, you, so you it's might, safe to eat yeah. insects. It's just you have to get over the creep right. out factor. Well, but if you bake right, with it. Right. And they are safe. And I just want to remind people that we're probably eating insects every day and we don't even realize <laughs> right. it. Because the FDA <laughs> that. does allow a certain amount of insect parts in all of our food. I mean, peanut butter, cinnamon, pasta, wheat flour, chocolate, they all are allowed a certain number of parts of the Because insects. they get in there by because accident. Because it gets in there by accident. Not that they're putting in. And it's not that they're harmful. The only reason why they regulate this at all is for more purely aesthetic reasons. Mm. Because people don't want to see a bug in their peanut butter when they open the jar. But you would well, get some extra protein. Golly, that's so, so, so surprising. So, you know, around the world, how now, do we we're, eat we're, insects? We're seeing a, kind of a renaissance with this. I mean, Paleolithic man was probably eating a lot of insects, sure. and now we're kind of going back to this. There are some Michelin star restaurants in France that are putting insects on their menu. We're seeing restaurants uh, kind of in the more cosmopolitan areas, New York and San Francisco, putting insects. One of the best ways, or one of the first, was this uh, cricket bar. This is an energy bar made with cricket flour. Okay. Um, these are my favorite. <laughs> they just look so appetizing. These are larvettes. These are worm snacks. And they look like but, but worms. <laughs> if all else fails, chocolate-covered anything is probably going to be good. And these are chocolate-covered crickets and, and worms. And I made some chocolate chip cookies with the cricket flour. And the newsroom has been eating them. And they've been actually so in the They don't them. taste bad because, again, the no. flour the smells flour, bad. But, you know, I, once you cook anything, you, you know, the heat is probably going to take care of some of that, that odor that you get. Because you can't smell them at all in the cookies. Steve, have a cookie. So, uh, here. Proving once again you can put anything on the food table in the newsroom. And it will get and eaten. They'll eat it. Next week on the Fear Factor, we're going <laughs> right. to do uh, reptiles, right, Lori? <laughs> Something like that. Got a question for our experts? Email them, ask the expert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail, the number to call on your screen.